What's up guys, Gambit896 and I'm back with my first ever in-depth review for you guys. Um, today I'm going to be reviewing Ultimate Comics The Ultimates, Volume 1 by Jonathan Hickman, which is written by Jonathan Hickman and illustrated by Isad Ribic. Um, as you can see from the spine, this is published by Marvel Comics and this first trade collects the first six issues of the series. Um, Right off the bat, I want to say this is a really great story, and if you're into the Ultimates, or if you're into Jonathan Hickman's writing, or Isad Ribic's artwork, um, you might know Jonathan Hickman from his uh, image series, The Manhattan Projects, which I also definitely recommend you check out. Um, I've done a review of that, uh, the first trade paperback of that series, on my personal channel, on Gambit896, so I'll put a link uh, to that review in the description. And you might know uh, Isad Ribic from his work on Uncanny X-Force uh, with Rick Remender. Um, he filled in for a couple of issues. And he's also the current uh, artist on Thor God of Thunder with uh, writer Jason Aaron of Scalped, uh, Wolverine and the X-Men. Uh, he did a run on Ghost Rider for a bit. Um, so yeah. Um, Jason Aaron wrote the uh, the uh, the Ghost Rider series. Tony Moore was the artist on the, on the Ghost Rider series. Anyway. Um, so the story opens up, uh, the world of the Ultimates is basically under attack by, um, the, uh, mysterious object called, uh, the Dome, which is, um, also known as the City, and it's, uh, creator and, um, the guy that brought it from a thousand years in the future forward to the, um, to the past is called... Um, uh, the, or known as the Maker, which we find out who the Maker is later on. Um, here's our first shot of some of our heroes going up to uh, find out what the dome is and trying to breach it. As you can see, there we have Thor. We have um, the ultimate version of um, Captain Britain. Uh, there's a couple of Captain Britons actually. They're um, part of the uh, of a defense team by the. Um, by the Europeans in this story arc. Um, we get some of the um, the backstory on uh, what life was first like for these um, for these people living in the city as it's known um, and they are known as the children of tomorrow. Um, if you're familiar with Jonathan Hickman's uh, image series The Manhattan Projects you know he really likes his really far out there um, science fiction stuff which is actually really really cool for the Ultimate Universe I think. Um, and Isad Ribic's artwork just looks fantastic in this um, first story arc, as you can see there and there. Uh, basically, what the Maker and uh, the Children of Tomorrow are trying to do is they are trying to create the perfect world and the perfect human. Uh, so they discover that um, Thor, God of Thunder, um, has a different um, physiology to the um, to the average Joes like you and me uh, within the uh, the Marvel universe. So once they find out that Thor's um, physiology is more perfect in a way than say your average Joe, uh, the Children of Tomorrow uh, go to attack Asgard, and they basically attack Asgard and they wipe out all of the gods um, from Asgard, even um, Odin uh, the Allfather and Thor's um, father actually falls during this uh, during this battle um, and there's some great line from uh, great lines of dialogue from his brother Loki as well um, as you can see um, as the dialogue actually says um, gods fell and and started falling out of the skies as you can see um on the third panel on this page as you can see there so these uh children of tomorrow are actually pretty powerful especially if they can take down you know the uh the asgardian gods and whatnot um and this does something that i never actually saw in um any comics with the avengers in whether they be you know the the Marvel six one six Avengers or the Ultimates. Um, these guys actually get defeated, and it's really really interesting. I think um, 
Again, I'll show you another really great uh, double page spread of some of uh, Isad Ribic's artwork. As you can see there. And there. Like I said, Jonathan Hickman really likes his um, sort of mad, crazy um, sci fi stuff, which I think is really, really cool. Um, there's some really cool um, battle scenes and action scenes in this. Um, Ultimate Thor is, is really, really cool um, in this first story arc, I think. Um, he has kind of the, um, the same attitude of uh, the normal um, Marvel 616 universe um, Thor. Uh, in my opinion. Um, again, here's um, a look at Thor's uh, costume and his hammer in the Ultimate Universe, as you can see there. Um, I first read the first two volumes of the Ultimates books, which when they first came out, they were written by uh, Mark Millar and um, illustrated by Brian Hitch. Um, and as they were some of the first comics I read, I thought they were pretty good at the time, but um, I never really picked up uh, the Ultimates myself in trade. I uh, borrowed the um, the first two Ultimate volumes from the library, actually. Um, but uh, I heard a lot of great things about, um, about Jonathan Hickman's writing on this series, so I thought I might as well pick up the first volume. Um, <clears throat> sorry guys, I'm uh, getting off topic there. Um, there's some really great um, character moments in this, um, especially for Thor and um, the ultimate version of Captain Britain, which in the Ultimate Universe, um, I'll show you uh, Captain Britain in a second, here we can see the ghost of Odin is um, expressing his disappointment in Thor, as um, in the Ultimate Universe, uh, Odin actually gave uh, the world of Earth to Thor to ultimately make it better essentially, and um, there's some great sort of father-son moments between Odin and uh, Thor, as you can see there. Uh, the ultimate version of Captain Britain is um, Jamie uh, Braddock in the Ultimate Universe, um, as opposed to uh, Ian Braddock, um, was the original uh, um, Captain Britain. Um, but uh, due to circumstances which we find out later on in the, uh, in the ending of the story, uh, we find out why Jamie has had to take up the mantle of uh, of Captain Britain. And again, um, speaking of the um, the character moments, we see that uh, even though the heroes and gods of Asgard actually fell and were killed by the Children of Tomorrow, they still um, come to uh, their, their brother, in a sense, Thor, and uh, give him the motivation to once again pick up uh, Mjolnir, his hammer, and uh, take the fight to these... Um, Children of Tomorrow, so that was a really, really cool scene, and like I said, the artwork by Isad Ribic is just fantastic. Um, and we find out that the maker um, is actually uh, the ultimate version of um, Reed Richards, or Mr. Fantastic from the uh, Fantastic Four. So, um, yeah, I thought that was a pretty cool um, little twist. I uh, um, I hadn't read any of the um, the Ultimate Fantastic Four books um, up until now, but uh, I didn't feel lost in this first story arc or anything, personally. Um, I knew pretty much what was going on um, right from the first page. Um, <clears throat> and there's a whole um, kind of political agenda towards the end, um, which leads nicely into, um, into the next story arc. Um, there's also some really cool character moments for uh, Jamie Braddock, the new Captain Britain in the Ultimate uh, Marvel Universe. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm really, really interested to see where this story goes. Um, if you maybe jumped off the Ultimates with um, uh, the end of Mark Miller's run, and uh, Mark Millar's run, sorry, and um, uh, what came after? Um, Ultimates 3 apparently wasn't very good, um, from what I've heard anyway, and um, the Ultimatum event by Jeff Lowe, I heard that wasn't good either, but um, if you're looking for a place to jump on or jump off, or if you've jumped off Ultimates and you want to jump back on, i definitely say that um, Jonathan Hickman's first volume is definitely a great um, re-jumping on point, or if you want a good jumping on point, 
um, for the Ultimates. I definitely say that uh, the first volume of um, Jonathan Hickman's run is a great place to jump on, in my opinion. Um, Hickman does a great job with all the characters and the overall story in this um, first story arc. Excuse me. Sorry. Uh, there's a lot of great action. The artwork by Isad Ribic, like I've said multiple times, is fantastic. Um, I originally came aware, became aware of his art style uh, in the couple of issues from Uncanny X-Force that he filled in for uh, with Rick Amanda um, on the helm of the writing duties um, back then. Um, so, yeah. Um, like I said, the writing by Jonathan Hickman is really, really solid. Um, uh, like I said just now, I'll put a link to my review of um, his first volume of his Image series, The Manhattan Projects, which if you haven't checked out and you're a fan of Image or science fiction or if you're a fan of Jonathan Hickman's writing in general, I definitely recommend you check out um, my review of the first volume of The Manhattan Projects, um, as I definitely think it's a series you should be reading. Um, if I had to get this first volume of the Ultimates, the Ultimate, sorry, Ultimate Comics, the Ultimates, uh, a rating, I'd give it a four and a half out of five. Uh, I really, really enjoyed this. Um, I'm definitely going to be picking up volume two and seeing what more Hickman can do with the series. And that about concludes this review video, guys. Um, sorry if was a this was a little bit kind of choppy and a bit sort of uh, back and forth between. Um, notes and whatnot. I've never actually done a uh, an in-depth review before. Um, I've always tried to keep my reviews um, pretty much spoiler free so uh, yeah sorry about that. Um, but anyway um, I hope you enjoyed this first ever um, in-depth review video uh, from me. Um, if you did give the video a thumbs up. If you didn't like it give it a thumbs down. Um, please feel free to leave some comments in the comment section telling me what you think or um, send me a private message on my personal channel, which I'll pull a link to, uh, <coughs> excuse me, I'll pull a link in the description, um, if you're interested in checking out my own personal channel, uh, Gambit896, and, um, until next time, this is Gambit896, signing off, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care, guys.